everyone, JSD Cool here, and welcome to another episode of Coolcraft. Now today, since last time 1.14 was released, we are now doing 1.14 related stuff for the next few episodes with farms and etc. Although I'll probably go back to what I was originally thinking was build something, build a, build a farm, build a building around it, etc. etc. I just kind of didn't have it for a while there. But in between episodes, I actually did some lag improvements on the server. I also found out that the laggiest thing in the world is actually villagers right now because of their stupid AI, which is still ter which is still freaking terrible. So, um, yeah. Yeah, so what I did is I moved all the villagers that were for the iron farms out of the spawn chunks. And not all of them are going to go back when I make a new iron farm because honestly, those guys are way too laggy. However, um... Yes, today we are actually going to be building an, oh, a 1.4G contraption, which will be a new concrete converter. Because, actually, a while a while back when I was actually putting in the road, putting in the road, what is currently of the roads in my base, when the Golden Creeper was helping me, um, built, when I built this road here, I kind of destroyed the concrete converter which I had right here to put the road in. And it was slow and terrible. And now 1.14 has given us some, some new toys to play with, let's just say, in the grand scheme of um, concrete converting. So, um, I'm going to need some things, um, obviously some redstone, that's going to be one of the things, and yeah, there's like my gigantic redstone stash, guys, all those chests are full of redstone blocks, um, some comparators, actually going to need more, repeaters, don't actually need that many repeaters. I need like one redstone torch, two red, three. <laughs> I keep going back on myself. Three redstone torches. Um, leaves are not necessarily useful. Wool, which I for some reason have these three colored chests of. So. Um, ladders shouldn't need those signs. Um, I actually do have a little bit of obsidian here. I do, and I will take this because I do need a bench. But um, oh, I do have a chest for cobblestone walls, and that. I should actually come down here and look at stuff. Um, I need a few observers and uh, two dispensers. Now down on the bottom level, hey, I'm getting all my resources here. Um, I'll need more than that in pistons. I don't think I have sticky pistons anywhere here. Okay. Um, I'll need some hoppers. This is probably more than enough. Chests will obviously be needed, but not necessarily immediately. I'm trying to think of what else I need off the top of my head. I'm also gonna need like a piece of TNT, so get that later. Actually, well, I won't do that right now. Um, oh, I have six sticky pistons. That's not gonna be enough. Okay, one of the di newer things that I need actually is I need like lecterns actually, because this actually uses one of the new 1.14 blocks as a an actual um component in the redstone. So let's just make some slabs here and. Um, Nope, don't got the crafting recipe for it, so there we go. There we go. Um, we need ten of these, and I'll get the rest of the materials, and I'll meet you at the build site. All right, guys. So I am here at the build site, and oh, dang! Slime in your hand doesn't render correctly. Look, my light, my elytra renders on top of the slime. What? <laughs> oh, it doesn't make any sense. And so does the shadow. The shadow also renders on top of the slime. Oh, that's so weird. I think water also renders on top of it. Yep. I think glass should also render on top of it. So, if I just align it correctly. Oh, the beacons render on top of it. That's like a nice feeling. Oh, yeah, totally. <laughs> oh, yeah. Um, but I am here at the build site here. Um, and I'm just about to actually pull up my creative testing world. But this is approximately the resource we have. At the moment, slime's just scaffolding blocks because... It felt like it's a good block for that. Um, and I also have like a shulker box like mostly full of obsidian here. So this build actually does require a bunch of obsidian. So I'm going to start at about this height. And I will get back to you. It's very laggy clips because I'll have two Minecraft windows open at that time. Um, um what I, what's been built? I've been, re I've been recording this whole darn time. Eh. Oh yeah. Well, okay. So here is the... 
All right, so here is the diff the thingy, uh, the, the final blast chamber where everything is going to be coming down. Because if I haven't told you, this is going to be a TNT powered farm. Now it'll be a little while before I do my next update clip because this is semi advanced here, and it'll take a little bit of time for me to do. But yeah, um, let's get right to that. All right, guys. So I've um, done actually a ton of progress here, and I've got in the half of the upper proportion here finished so this is the, the system here that will push all the concrete down into the blast chamber area and over here is the placement system so it's a sys it's a fairly simple thing involving a zero tick piston here where you just place it here and it'll instantly go across although auto clicker speed is too fast for this machine actually so you actually have to use just like click and hold speed but um for this thing over here it's pretty simple it got the another zero tick piston setup just slightly different we got lecterns here, which will have a book with that'll make it output a signal through the comparator. Oh, oh, fridge. That'll make it output a, a redstone signal of five, because there's five redstone between here and here. And then I'll zero tick this piston to go down, and this will event gradually fill up. There will be the con there will then be the um source of all the TNT will be coming around here. And then this here, I'm gonna, going to need to duplicate on that side, so I'm going to get into that right now. Alright guys, so I have just mirrored this thing on the other side here, so we now have two of them here. Now, the only thing that's actually kind of missing from this now, besides the storage system down there and the powder storage up here, which I have started to actually work on. As you can see, I've added this system here for dis for turning the thing on and off, which I don't have a lever on me, but it'll go like somewhere around here. Plus the hoppers here are to feed the dispensers, because if this thing is operating at its max speed, which the server probably won't let it, um, these things will be able to spit out items faster than one hopper stream can deliver, actually. I did test this thing, and it's just slightly slower than the speed of two hoppers combined, of two hoppers combined, so... Um, we need two hoppers feeding into these things to keep up a sufficient speed. And so that's what we have here. We also have um, redstone here to lock this stuff until we turn on the machine. And yeah, so I built up the second side here. Now, um, one thing that we need is we need books for these things, which I will go make, like now, just to get the thing working. And yeah, I will, um, I will then get to you, be get back to you in a minute. Alright guys, so I have... Um, placed in all the books here, and now they're on page 4 out of 10, which will give them a redstone signal of 5 when there's a block here. That'll go all the way up through here and activate these pistons, which will zero tick the blocks down. Um, yeah, now this thing is almost completely done, actually. Set up directly for two-player interaction, which should have a total of approximately... I'm trying to do mental math here, guys. Um... 36,000 blocks an hour, I want to say. Huh, well, because one player is about 18,000 blocks per hour, 36 would make sense for two 18s. Yes, so, um, about 36 blocks an hour, thousand blocks an hour. It's actually a bit less than that because you don't get perfect 18,000 from each player. It's just the randomness of the whole plus lag. Lag will be a big factor in this, in this actually. But besides that, I. Um, now it's TNT do over time, so yes, fun. Alright guys, so I have pretty much completed the TNT do proof here. While it's not completely uh, assembled, I do have to still extend this piston a, set a bit just to get the whole thing assembled. It is pretty much primed and ready to be working, so now I just have to work on the rest. I also included the bar of stuff down here. Now I'm using one piston and slime blocks to actually... Um, extend this because otherwise these pistons and stuff would have bud powering and interference and that would cause lots and lots of issues everywhere on this side and so to get both sides working I had to kind of modify this and I should just say this is actually my own design I didn't I did actually come up with this design so um yeah no credit need to do so yeah I'll get the whole circuitry back here and now and with that, this thing should be finished. So, I have not yet tested this out. Hopefully it doesn't just kill itself here. But let's go down here and turn this thing on so that happens. Okay, dupe TNT. TNT gets released, and boom! Nice! Actually, this glass here is where you're supposed to be standing. Okay, consistent. 
Bang! Woo! <laughs> oh god, man, this is amazing. Okay, well, and you know, there's a few reasons. Okay, I, I fell. I fell. I gotta pick this door just about that. The few reasons why I wanted this thing. The first of many reasons is, well, I need a new concrete converter. I temporarily have installed a recipe where you can use ice, but that's kind of tedious because you gotta get a lot of ice. Um, I did also, in, um, and um, another thing is. If you didn't watch um, the video last week, Jared Cool designed an airport in creative mode, which he's going to be building right over this way at my base, and he uses a ton of concrete, which he has actually collected, I believe. But um, we need to convert it into into the solid stuff, so you can see it's all in these chests and stuff here. I mean, not this, but black, like white. Oh, not the green stuff, but gray. Yeah, there's a lot of stuff that actually does. Uh, there's a gravel here too. Um, there's a lot of stuff here though that does need to be um, converted into um, not powder anymore but normal concrete and so we can do that with oh hopefully I didn't break the thing by flying away okay phew it looks fine I should probably remember to turn this thing off while I fly away because this thing actually has an interesting way of turning off it just pulls that thing back dupes one last TNT which falls on there and blows up and I have done some tests in the back here, so from the back layer of obsidian here, I can actually build another wall, and that should not be blown up. I'm not sure about the front here, but I'm going to have a storage system out in front of this thing anyway, which, um, there are two actually storage systems that I have to build. I have to build the one in the back here, which is for all the concrete powder, and this thing works in a way where you're going to have, like, one in your inventory that you're going to start by taking out of, start by taking out of here, and then you're going to end up... Every time you place it, you're gonna have your thing on the first slot here. If your hopper is filled, then you, the open, an open, the first open slot. You're just gonna be clicking into the block here, which every time you place a block, it'll power the dispenser, giving you another block. And so there could theoretically be a lot of blocks in there. And this thing is a very efficient, efficient farm. So yeah, storage systems. Let's go. All right, guys. So we are um done with the storages. So I have that storage up there. Which is made out of those chests, and this storage down here, which um, I think it's just generally bigger because there's 12 chests here, um, 12 double chests on each side of that storage. Which um, no matter what side the things get blown up on, they're probably gonna end up both sides down there, which could be a little bit problematic if one's more favored. Uh, these there's one, two, three, four, five. There's only 10 chests here, but we'll probably end up adding more as we need them on both the top and the bottom. Uh, uh, this is the old hopper line for the iron farm. The old iron farm, that is. The one that doesn't work anymore. <sighs> it, was, it was nice while it lasted. All these loser villagers that are currently just sitting here. They're nitwits. Because I never traded with them. <laughs> Although, yeah. So, I mean, next episode, guys, we are going to be building something around this farm. It should be pretty cool. But... For now, I'm going to have to say thank you all for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Please make sure to like and subscribe. Check out the Discord link in the description. Sorry, this was a short episode. And I will see you all in the next epi episode of Coolcraft. Bye.